Good morning, boys and girls. I don't know if you looked outside yet today, but it's acting like winter again. I have two stories to read you today. This one is called The Four Seasons. A year has four seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. Some birds make nests in winter. At the end of winter, buds form on some trees. Let's see what happens to this cherry tree through all the seasons. Spring follows winter. The weather gets warmer. Birds lay eggs in their nests. In the spring, leaves and blossoms appear on the trees. Some of those already started to happen and some will happen soon once all this snow finally goes away. I actually saw some eggs the other day, but it wasn't in a tree. They were big goose eggs in a big flower pot, so that was pretty cool. Next comes summer. The weather gets hot. Baby birds hatch from the eggs. Mother bird feeds the babies. By early summer, cherries grow and begin to ripen on the cherry tree. Soon the baby birds learn to fly and all of the cherries have been picked and eaten. Fall comes after summer. The air gets cool. The birds begin to fly away to warmer places. Leaves turn yellow, orange, and red. As fall ends, birds flying south stop to rest in the tree. Leaves dry up and fall to the ground. Winter comes around once again. A squirrel hunts for food. Snow covers the tree and all of the countryside. It makes a beautiful sight, just like it's making a beautiful sight today, even though winter's supposed to be over. I have one more story for you. I don't know if you remember this, you probably do, but we celebrated Easter this past Sunday. And I know it's a little different now because we weren't able to go out and do all the things we usually do on Easter, but I hope you still had a fun day. This is called The Best Thing About Easter. Do you like Easter? I do. I think Easter is fun. I like to dye Easter eggs all different colors pink ones and green ones and blue ones and orange ones and yellow ones. Which one is your favorite? Then after we dye the eggs, we hide them. I love to hunt for Easter eggs, don't you? Here's one right here. How many can you find? Yes, I think Easter eggs are fun, but Easter eggs aren't the best thing about Easter. Sometimes we have candy Easter eggs with soft, squishy marshmallows on the inside. Sometimes we have gooey, chewy jelly beans that taste like lemon or cherry or peppermint. Yum! And sometimes we have dark chocolate Easter bunnies that melt in your mouth. I like Easter candy a lot, but candy isn't the best thing about Easter. Did you ever pet a soft, furry bunny at Easter time? I did at my uncle's farm. Pet, 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 pat, pat, pat. I, lo I like soft furry bunnies. Once my cousin got a fuzzy yellow duck that said quack, quack, quack. My other cousin got a cute baby chick that said peep, peep, peep. I like furry bunnies and fuzzy ducks and cute baby chicks, don't you? But bunnies and ducks and chicks aren't the best thing about Easter. Easter is in the springtime and guess what happens then? On the green, green grass, up the hill and down the hill, I run in the bright, warm sunshine. Just watch me. Everything is bursting with new life in the springtime. But springtime isn't the best thing about Easter either. I like to get all dressed up on Easter Sunday, don't you? First I scrub, scrub, scrub in the tub and get all clean. Then I brush, brush, brush my hair. And then I put on my very best clothes. Wow, just look at me. I look terrific. Then at church on Easter Sunday, we talk and laugh and sit and sing and we listen and pray. We have a treat too. Oh yes, I like getting all dressed up and being together on Easter Sunday, but even that isn't the best thing about Easter. The very best thing about Easter is Jesus, God's own son. Oh yes, Jesus is the best thing about Easter. You see, we have Easter because of Jesus. Easter is about something wonderful that was part of God's amazing plan. First, a very sad thing happened. Jesus died on the cross. But guess what? Jesus did not stay dead. No, he did not. 
On the very first Easter morning, God made Jesus alive again, and the tomb was empty. Jesus' friends were so surprised and so happy to see him again. Jesus is alive, they said. He is really alive. And then a little later, do you know what God did? He took Jesus up, 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 right through a cloud into heaven. We'll hear about that Bible story soon. It was all part of God's amazing plan. But the most amazing part of God's plan is that Jesus died and lives again for me and for you. It's true because Jesus loves me, you see. He loves you too. He loves all of us. This is a Bible verse that says, this is what love is. God loved us and sent his son. 1 John 4 verse 10. Oh yes, I like Easter eggs and Easter candy and soft furry bunnies and fuzzy baby ducks. And I like getting all dressed up and being together on Easter Sunday. But the very best thing about Easter is Jesus. I'm glad Jesus loves me. I'm really, really glad, aren't you? Happy Easter, everyone. I hope you enjoyed our story. I'm not giving you assignment because I want you to enjoy your time this weekend. I hope you're able to get outside, whether it's in the snow or after it melts away. And I will see you again next week. Bye.